pole dancing often conjures up negative connotations. Even the online Oxford dictionaries link pole dancing to strip clubs. But pole dancer Victoria Lebrun challenges those stereotypes. It's um, quite a battle because, you know, there's the issue of wanting people to um, take away that stigma. You know, people need to know that pole does exist outside of strip clubs. But at the same time, I find it just as important for people to um, take away the negative stigma that comes with strip clubs. Also, a whole other preconception or stigma with men doing pole. They say, like, how does a man look sexier? How is a man be masculine with a pull, but there's a lot of strength that's involved. Stephen Beasley displays that strength in the dance Way Down We Go, choreographed by Kara Steen in the new dance review in the Va Va Voom Room. Steen, who's also one of the dancers, sees pole dancing as an art form. Just like any type of art, it can, it can go in so many different directions, and that's why I believe it's so important to bring it to a stage, to bring it to a theater, so that we are experiencing the diversity of what pole has to offer instead of simply just seeing it in the form of a strip club. Steen's background is in classical dance, but she began pole dancing three years ago. And I found that it fully resonated with who I am and what I love and combined so many different elements of strength and flexibility and sensuality and it combined it all with musicality and performance. And so Paul felt like a direction that I wanted to go in my performance art career. Her choreography has such beauty that you might miss how much strength and athleticism is involved. Oh my goodness. Well, it absolutely takes a lot of discipline, a lot of training, um, a lot of bruising. <laughs> the biggest difference that I saw from going from Errol to Paul was just the different type of pain. <laughs> um, definitely had the strength that I needed to have in terms of the conditioning aspect, but I, there are a lot of po points in my body that usually don't touch the apparatus in terms of like inner thigh or the side of my back or my rib. So I didn't have any calluses and I had to work some of those nerves down a little bit, but other than that, it worked out pretty well in terms of the transition. I could not do a push up when I started pull, nor could I touch my toes. Now I can bust out like 10 pull ups, solid. You know, I'm relatively flexible. It's, it's done amazing things for my mind and body, really. I'm just more comfortable in who I am. It's a full body workout where we're using our upper body strength to pull. We're using our legs to push and to squeeze. We're using our core to engage and to lift. And so it really is, it's full and it's dynamic. And um, with that practice comes a sense of lightness. And I think you can see that and you can feel it as you progress and as you train and as you get stronger. There's no limits. There's not a box that you categorize dance in. Whatever way that you can express yourself with the movement that is just so freeing in terms of your exploration of how you want to express yourself to yourself and also to the audience that you perform to. Welcome to the Va Va Boom Room at Perversionary Theater! Last year, audiences were treated to an In the Va Va Boom Room that was decidedly burlesque from start to finish. But LeBrun says, way down we go, won't adhere to traditional notions of burlesque. I definitely think it has, you know, beautiful sensual elements, definitely some accents that are similar to burlesque, but I think it's definitely more on the side of the pole fitness and contemporary. You know, come and just experience something that maybe you haven't experienced before. And after, you might be inclined to define pole dancing in a whole new way. Beth Accomando, KPBS News.